very well successful in it, um, you've got to be dedicated to your class. Welcome back to the USA Rugby High School National Championships from Wayne State College in Nebraska. Alex Corbisser joined by Abby Gestaitis. We are getting prepared for the women's third place playoff, which sees the Mustangs from North County, San Diego, taking on the United Girls Rugby Club from Alpine, Utah. And Abby, this is obviously the third place. So these teams had their hearts broken in the semi-final missing out on a national championship but now need to pick themselves up and get back on the horse for one last aim for a medal one of the hardest games to get up and play for however a medal is on the line that bronze medal it's such a big opportunity here for both of these teams however you face that heartbreak already and then like you said having to pick yourself up Bring the energy, bring the physicality, and show up for the entire 60 minutes of this match. It's going to be a huge testament to one of these sides, whoever comes out on top today. It's so promising to see so much rugby played at the high school level, especially in the women's game with World Cup announcements in the last weeks that the World Cup is coming to the United States in 2031 and 30, 2033, respectively. You know, this is the future. These players might be playing in those events down the line. It's pretty exciting. Beyond exciting for these young women to have that goal in mind. 2033, it may, it's a decade away, right? It sounds far away. However, for these high school players, definitely within reach. Imagine the caliber of rugby players we will have in our country in just 10 years time. Getting so many more eyes on this sport and these girls playing this sport from a young age they will be able to compete against the very best in the world the winds of change are among us in the rugby world but it's time to kick off the action here at wayne state college as the mustangs Kick off. And that is the Mustangs receiving the ball in the red jerseys. Both both teams with the red, white, and black. However, it is going to be the United team in the mostly white jerseys on the right side of your screen as they gain possession of that ball after an early turnover. However, that double movement playing the ball on the ground, ref pings United, and it's back to Mustang ball. Mustangs with the tap, taking that first contact up. Looking to recycle from the ruck here. They move the ball to the right-hand side. Forward pod, condensed carriers, lots of support there at the breakdown as they recycle again. Moving the ball wider this time through the hands, getting it to the edge. Mustangs trying to make a break. Cover tackle's good. They keep it in field. Recycle possession, going through the hands again as a strong carry up the middle good defense from united as the mustangs retain possession haven't really gone anywhere for these last couple phases keeping the ball alive offload out of the tackle breaks one tackle another offload it bounces but then lands in the hands of the mustangs as they look to continue to break down the outside referee has a penalty against United. Looks like the potentially some hands in the breakdown or a high tackle there. And as the we're unable to see these teams warming up. However, as the Mustangs finish up, they actually were doing the hokey pokey as they got their energy up for this third place match. Super exciting to see. Just trying to lift that energy, be on the same page as they enter into this third place match. And a good breakdown turnover from United as they then tap, get the ball to the edge, stop well by Mustangs, good low tackle from the Mustangs as United play from the ruck. They move the ball again, they move it on the outside, through the hands, playing inside their own half. 
Hit and spin, breaks the tackle, the number eight for United. As they then look to recycle another strong carry. Clear out is good from United. They recycle again, go again up the left-hand side. Carry is good, stays on her feet well. And then this time spilled in the contact from United, but referee had an advantage. Looks like for offside, United tap. They move the ball to the right-hand side. Through the hands, you'd think it might go, but they go up the middle. Number 13 breaks the line with the fend. Leg drive still keeping her going through the tackle. They then recycle down the right-hand side. But that looks to be spilled by the first receiver from United. Potential chance going begging there, Abby. A lot of back and forth. We've seen little errors from both sides, some penalties from both sides. Exciting first few minutes of this match. We're seeing both teams really in it, really fighting for every moment. It'll be who can have the least amount of unforced errors in this match, holding on to that possession and getting some points on the board. As Mustangs feed into the scrum, they recycle it well. Oh, stripped in the tackle by the number 14 of United. She breaks away. Recycles possession. They attack down the left. Number 15 with a step. Beats the first defender. Beats the second defender. She is getting closer to the try line. Offload is good, but then spilled in the hands. As another chance for United goes amiss after some really promising attack. Just 10 meters out there from the try zone, thinking maybe a little right line fever. They're doing so well, breaking the initial tackle, getting that forward momentum. However, it's that last little offload, not fully getting their hands free, forcing the pass to their teammates who aren't necessarily in that better position than them. So a bit more patience potentially needed when down there in the 22, Abby. Definitely a little bit. Settle it down, set your ruck. There's not much ruck contention right now, so going into contact strong and setting that ruck. However, we see another penalty here going against United, giving the Mustangs the ball. As they tap quick up the middle, they get just outside the 22, but the breakdown turnover from United there. Just holding on at the bottom, so as we know in 15s and 7s aside when you get tackled you have to immediately place that ball back and if the defense is there in a position to poach that ball you have to release mustangs not releasing that ball pinging it and giving the ball back to united as they look to build here sort of just going laterally right this moment However, looking for those offloads, looking for their teammates in space. As we see here, do they move it to the edge? Number 14, a dangerous player for United. You see her just clapping her hands there, knowing just that little mistake creeping in. As they look sure to be going towards the try line, another error giving that ball back to the Mustangs. And it's United who have started this game better of the two sides but Mustangs defense keeping them in it and again just those spilled passes when they're close to almost breaking the line and, and getting the job done Abby just like we said a bit more patience look after possession they're doing so much good stuff out there if I was their coach potentially telling them just send that ball a second earlier if their teammate is in a better space or hold on to it and just set the ruck, have your support there, then get your scrum half to move the ball wide. However, that turnover ball, the set piece to Mustangs, they went through the hands. Good tackle coming in from United as they stay out of that ruck. Mustangs, ball going to deck. However, they're able to clean it up. Oh, unlucky ref says just a little nudge forward. So a few early mistakes seen by both sides. Potentially a bit of nerves coming into this third place national championship game. You've just lost, you know, a game and you're trying to dust yourself off and, and get back into it. And I think, yeah, potentially nerves, you know, you know, sometimes, you know, you're still processing the fact you're not playing for a national championship frustrations are high but it's it, again it's been united who have had all the territory all the opportunities and what about that for a carry off the base of the scrum 
Breakdown turnover deemed illegal by the referee. That's another penalty, and the number eight goes again. Taps for the line. United inches away here. They move it again. Number one with a strong carry. Can they knock it over the door? They're close to the line. Could be held up. And it looks to be held up there. Well done by the Mustangs defense. Just getting under the pleasure. Referee calling time off here for just a moment. We see the players around taking a knee, just looking after that player, potentially just a contact out, giving her a moment to put that back in. However, let's go back to that phase play by United. What do you take as a tight five forward? What advice would you give to these players here? When you get to that last couple of inches, it's all about body height. You cannot let the defenders have a shot of getting under the ball and holding you up. And that's exactly what happened there. Bit of white line fever stood up to try and use full power. It's all about getting low and pumping your legs so you're in a position to, par, uh, to score the try. But as we stop the time here, as they check the contact, looks like the player's okay. And we're going to get back into the game as that try was held up it should be a goal line dropout so the defense being awarded for holding that player up so that's even more to your point how critical it is to get low in your body height and you're either dying that down or you're placing it back to your teammates if you're short of the line very risky if not sure you're going to get over the line and there's a risk of being held up with this new rule with a goal line dropout of the scrum it's much more advantageous to put it back recycle and go again and not take the risk especially with no tmo as united recycle held down the left hand side they reach the 40 inching their way deeper into mustang's half but a great breakdown turnover. Oh, referee, this is no release there from the Mustangs. You have to show clear release as the tackler before you can compete at that breakdown. And it's United again who are off to the races. But a little knock on there from United. Costly again as Abby. It's been all United, but it's nil-nil. You know, no reward. All it's going to take is for Mustangs to get one try. And, and you're looking at an uphill game when you should be ahead. Several opportunities missed here for United early in this first half. We've seen this match be played completely in Mustangs territory. However, again, like you said, it is now Mustang ball. Let's see if they gain some territory, maybe kick out of this end. Oh, the number eight going off to the right side. Big carry by her as her teammates are there to support her. And then just off the back of that rock, another air. So much pressure from United, giving them that ball back. And they're on the attack once again. Look at that leg drive from number two, Mahina Hofoko. And then passing it out, number 18, strong carry. Good contention there in that ruck. However, United able to maintain number 11 at the back, Lomo. Just controlling this game for United. Quick to every ruck. We see her there again. Looking both sides before she's approaching. Nice ball movement here. They have the edge. She looks, but she cuts back in and then offloads it. Keeping those hands free. Number 14. She has been such a threat for them. She places that ball back. Do they get over that line? They are inches away, the referee. And his arm the is up. He awards the first try of this third place championship. Line. And it's United who get the score. Referee wasn't 100% sure. Looked at his touch judge and she lets him know that it was all good. And it's that, those strong carries from United, Abby, which are really doing the damage. And then when they get a little wider, keeping that ball alive and offloads, they get inches away there. And that's what we talked about, that last pick and go body height. Crucial. They must have heard you. Number 14 knew she wasn't crossing over the line, so she placed it back to her teammate. And then that was number one, Moanga, dotting it down. The winger for United getting that two-inch try. Looked more like a front row try to me, but the winger gets it done. 
Nothing wrong with a pick and go try. <laughs> I'm a front rower to a sevens player. <laughs> But it is United that get the early lead here. Like you said, it has been all United. But they finally capitalize almost 13 minutes into this match. Halfway through this first half. And it's the first points on the board. So unclear if it's the strong defensive efforts or just a few handling errors that are keeping this scoreline low right now. And it's Mustangs who kick off down the middle. Filled from United in the tackle and Mustangs pass. And this is really their first attacking moment down in the, in the United half. What can they do here? They move the ball one out. Another strong carry. They recycle again, this time going through the hands. Another carry up the middle. Ball is available. Lots of players in that breakdown. So they go through the middle. Very strong carry from the Mustangs as they are getting quick ball. Will they continue to go to direct? Will they spin it wide? They pick again, big tackle, and the ball spills out. It's United, who are away to the races, off the transition. She breaks away, one defender to beat. She gives her in and out. Defense looks like they've got it. Offload there to the number 15. This is end to end stuff as the three. Keeps that ball alive again to 21. Unbelievable play from United to keep this alive. Will this be the moment? They spill it. Oh, so close after such promising play as the Mustangs look to scramble and clear their lines. And here they come, moving that ball to the outside. What a game we have on our hands here. Support there. They choose to recycle. They keep it alive out of the tackle. Mustangs still with the ball. Another carry. Another offload. Another offload. They keep this ball alive. Great ball skills, everybody. Mustangs with another carry. This is their most promising moment of the match. Will they make it count? As ball has been in play for a while now. Recycle again through the hands up the middle. Mustangs looking to get it to the edge. Had numbers outside. They carry. They'll want a quick recycle here. As there is a definite advantage on the edge if they can use it. Ball spills, but they regather it. Another offload from the Mustangs. They have come to play. They trail 5 nothing to United. This being their most promising moment of attack. Big carry and bump up the middle. Mustangs keeping possession. Breakdown challenge from United. Not good. Mustangs pick again. They get the attack going as they edge their way closer to the line. Looks to be space on the left-hand side if they decide to use it. Right now, they're back in the pick-and-go game, which has been successful for them. But that's a strong breakdown compete. Referee says release. Mustangs with the carry. They cross the line. Held up. Just like we saw earlier in the game. Goal line dropout. Small margins deciding it so far, Abby. Maybe you can take a breath now. They That was non-stop action from try line to try line. We saw breakout runs from both sides. However, even stronger defense able to keep both teams out try zone here's a look again at the go from the mustang it was a carry she drags in two united to ever she on her back unable to get that ball down in the try zone and it's that goal line dropout however mustang retain possession and look at this transition play the footwork the evasion mustang ball just 10 meters out from their try line once again, seeing if they can get that goose egg off the scoreboard as they inch closer and closer. There are tons of players in that ruck. We're thinking they're gonna back the pick and go one more time. And she might just be an inch side. She places it back. And a little knock on is gonna give that ball back to United. There was that wall of white jerseys potentially maybe 
the Mustangs, they use that pick and go a few times. Then they get that ball out, find some space, as you saw, about 10 United jerseys right in front. Completely agree, Abby. They're getting good reward with the pick and go, but maybe near the line, you know, trying to trying twice with the pick and go now once held up now a knock on potentially once they get close trying to move the ball out wide might be the answer as united hold strong win the ball at the scrum and kick to clear their lines mustangs spill but gather it ball backwards so play on taking the ball up the middle offload away Mustang still with possession here as they're in to the 22 but that was deemed holding on. Breakdown penalty to United. They tap and look to play quick. This is a ferocious pace to this game so far. Both these teams certainly look to have a lot of energy. And what I love seeing, even at the high school level, they're aware of the space a lot of the time. They're getting that ball out. They have playmakers on both sides, especially number 15 there, who was just at first hand. She's able to move the ball well. Number 11 as their scrum half. I believe that was Jordis Lomu again. And then big carry up the middle. You can hear the fans in the background just exhilarating stuff here again united now with the advantage so they'll have a free pass here if they want to try something but do they shift it wide ball goes backwards and there's that advantage back to the initial mark it looks like a high tackle that came in from mustangs they're bringing it back pretty far here referee taking it very far back high tackle is the call as united We'll have an opportunity to tap or maybe kick the touch. We'll see. Looks like the tap coming. We haven't seen any lineouts yet this match. So she passes the ball off to her teammates and elects to kick to touch. So when it's that penalty to you, you kick the ball into touch and it is your lineout. So a good opportunity to get down the pitch a little bit. United crossing into Mustang territory. Big attacking opportunity here for the team that's ahead. And when you look at the two teams' styles, Abby, I would say potentially United a bit more physical, direct, where Mustangs a bit more, you know, a bit more clever play, moving the ball a bit more and, and just playing overall sort of possession and accumulation of pressure with their attack. Completely agreed. United using their strength, but... Error coming in on the line out. Mustangs able to get in front of that lifting pod, stealing that line out, and able to retain the ball as they look to get out of their own half. As you said, a little bit of cover play. Nice footwork there as they test the edge, but it's the number 15 just as strong on defense for United as she is on attack. Mustangs able to maintain ball, punching it up the middle. Continuing to wrap around, maybe getting the ball through the hands, finding a bit of space on the edge. Double tackle coming in from United, bringing the ball carrier to ground, wrapping around. We have some space here on the bottom of your screen. And there she goes. Getting good for momentum there for Mustangs. High tackle, it looks like, coming in from the ref. So Mustangs go quick. Number 12, strong player for Mustangs. Places the ball back to our team. Referee blowing it up one more time. And unlucky there for the Mustangs, giving that ball right back to United as it looked like they were approaching the try line again. Time and time again, Mustangs have looked, you know, one pass away, one inch away, and it's three real opportunities that they'll that they'll miss. And when they look back and they're they're behind potentially at the moment. You know, you, you want to make sure that you get back onto your conversion rate and converting those chances because it can haunt you as time goes and, you, and you're still chasing a game when you really, really should be at least tied or ahead with what you produce. Definitely. And it is the Mustangs who rip that ball away in the tackle. Referee has his arm up playing advantage. So as United got that ball back, it's going to that set piece, a scrum for the Mustangs. You see the players just catching their breath here, checking out the body language. As you mentioned before, just frantic pace here. So 
Maybe fatigue starting to creep in as we close out this first half. About eight minutes left to play. Good attacking opportunity. So they basically have the entire width of the field to attack. What are you looking for here if you're the Mustangs? I think the recipe for them is to move the ball. I think if they can get it out wide and then recycle some phases and get down to the 22, that to me is the recipe. Move that ball, find the point of contact where you're going to get game line and suck those defenders in. A quick recycle now, and it's game on here on the right-hand side if they can get the ball away. Great footwork there from the first receiver as they keep it alive. Mustangs with possession as they edge into the 22. United strong at the breakdown again. Referee saying play on. Looks like the turnover is good. And United have rescued possession back as they pick at the base of the ruck. Number 18 with a big carry up the middle. And Mustangs just giving that ball up again. United looking strong, but number eight. She didn't fully get to her feet before she played that ball. And if you're lying on that ground, you cannot play the ball at all. So it'll be Mustang ball as they quick tap. Going forward, not the biggest carry there seen by Mustangs, but they are spread across the pitch. Let's see if they can use that with, oh, big bump coming in. She's able to just hold on to that ball with the fingertips. Good carry. Defense still strong by United making those tackles. Getting that ball out. Maybe a quick hit up the middle and then continue to flood around to that left side of the pitch. The little out the back offload doesn't get hand for the Mustangs. And then again, that turnover to United. Mustangs just giving the ball away with the amount of penalties they've had so far. It has been all Mustangs for at least the last five, ten minutes. But Abby, you're bang on. Those turnovers are the are, are, are the spanner in the works for them right now. United have been resilient at the breakdown. They've defended reasonably well. But Mustang have stretched them a number of times. But it's the last phase or two that they're, that they're relinquishing possession. And that's really crippling them from, from building a score and, and getting back into this game. And as you know, at some point, United are going to get another shot. And if they take their chance, you're two tries down, you start really kicking yourself. Yeah, you have to think Mustang's pretty lucky to only be down 5-0 at this point in the match. It's been a long first half. However, United not capitalizing on all the errors that the Mustangs have had so far. Now we see it's United ball. And then again, an error coming in by United. Big tackle coming in from number eight on United. And then she's hitting that ruck. But Mustangs get that ball out. Do they have space on this right side of the pitch? They move the ball through the hands. And then just that ball in front. However, we hear the referee whistle. Wait till he gets back in the screen. And it's going to be that penalty to the Mustangs, forcing United back 10 meters. Just a few minutes left in this half. Can the Mustangs climb their way back in and get some points on the board? They'll have a penalty here. Decision will be whether they kick, tap, or scrum. Looks like they're going to kick for touch. But huge moment for the Mustangs as time is ticking away, like you said, Abby. It's now or never to get back into this game to try and at least level it up before the halftime break. And a lineout is a great attacking opportunity as the defense has to get back 10 meters. So that gives the attacking back line a lot of time and space to work a set piece move. However, they have to gather this ball as it's thrown in initially. That is the trade-off with the lineout. You get the field position, but it is a little risky to win your ball at times. Hand coming in from United, but the Mustangs gather it, gather it and they get off with a strong carry up the middle of the field. Referee has his arm out for advantage for the knock-on at the line-out. Mustangs recycling possession, a pick-and-go up the middle again. It's been very effective for them. United filling the field in defense, but sometimes a little soft around the ruck, and Mustangs have been exploiting it. Now they move it to the outside through the hand. Hackle comes in from United. Mustangs have the ball. They recycle from the ruck. Pass through the hands. Miss in the middle. Doesn't go 
the hand, it's spilled forward. United have it with the knock-on advantage. Referee's arm out. What will United do with it here? As they pick inside out, then a carry. Number 22 gets our hands free. Really strong work from United to keep this ball alive as they offload again up the right-hand side and now recycle at the ruck. Just staying into touch there. I'm loving this counter-attack from United. They're going into contact strong with ball in two hands, tucking it, then getting their arms free. Able to give a good offload to their teammates. That's what we've been missing seeing throughout this match, sending those messy passes. Yet referee blows it up. Good content contest there from Mustangs. Able to poach that ball. United pinged for holding on to that ball on the ground. So Mustang ball, quick tap. Oh, and then just spilling that ball forward. Mustangs have to be disappointed with that just when they get another attacking opportunity. As we take a moment here, referee calling the time, telling United, just backing up as we check in on this player as we get some medical attention. Love the show of respect from the other players taking a knee. Letting the med medics come on and attend to the injured player. But it's Mustangs who have who've looked very promising in attack. But again, that turnover rate so high in this game. It's what is keeping them no scores so far. And let's hope it doesn't cost them a third place finish in these national championships. And how huge of a shift will it be if United are able to score once more before the half? If you go into halftime, you're only down five points. You think, yes, I can get right back into this. However, getting another points on the board before half, such a momentum shift. And United will be super confident coming into the second half of this match. Completely agree. As time is ticking away in this first half, United with the put in at the scrum. Potentially one last attacking set to score again. Under pressure there, but they get the ball at the base. Number eight, she has carried strong all day, flicks the ball out the back. But it's a penalty offside, off the back of the scrum against the Mustangs as United look to tap and have one last attack and go at the Mustangs in this half. And as a scrum guru, as you call yourself, we saw a lot of pressure there from the Mustangs driving in that scrum, putting a lot of pressure on United. Huge kick there from United to kick the corner off the penalty. They'll have a five meter, five meter line out, but yes, Abby, Back to the scrum. It, it's really tough in this in junior high school level rugby because you can be dominant in scrum, but you can only push one and a half meters. After that, you have to stop. So really, you have to try and once you get it moving forward, get a hook or something to get that ball back because unlike senior rugby, you can't just keep pushing through and be very, very dominant there. Good to know from the former England prop and British and Irish lion, Alex Corbusero. And the LA Giltini scrum coach now as well. You can add that in there. And there we see that ball thrown in. Advantage up for United. Huge opportunity here as they are just five meters out. And the long arm penalty comes. Number eight. We've seen it time and time again. Oh, just off the mark, says the referee. So they will have to bring it back. As we see almost the entire United team within shot here. But they give it to their go-to player. It's number eight. And she got it down. Two score for United as they bring the lead up 10-0. Outstanding play from the number eight. She has been a dominant carrier all day. Mali Naufi with the try. But she's wrecking ball here. And it was no doubt who was going to get this tap. Five meters out. Who do you give it to? You give it to your bulldozer. And she goes to work. One, two, three, four defenders. Still could stop. And that's the difference between the two sides. United, we've got near the line, have taken their opportunities. Here's the kick. Looks no good there. Didn't see a flag. 
back up. So that'll be 10 nothing at what should be close to half time. But back to what I was saying, Abby, that's the difference between the two sides. Mustangs have had the entries to the 22. They've had the opportunity to score. They've just turned over a lot of ball. United, they've got down there, have much more clinical and accurate with their play. And here's this try. And it is the ledge, the body height you see are trying to sit and knees and no one is stopping that woman dotting second try for united mustangs kick off left to right on your screen unable to be gathered by united and it's a little knock on a big error coming in from united as mustangs it'll be their scrum just 30 meters out huge opportunity here if they can bring themselves back into this match getting five points on the board before halftime Potential lifeline for the Mustangs here. Like we've said before, you've said definitely scrub. Great attacking platform. Let's see what they can do with it. They get it going forward. They go down the short side. Number eight with the pick. She's stopped well, but they recycle. High tackle penalty to the Mustangs as they look to continue to play. They need a score here as they get closer and closer to the line. Turnovers has been their issue. Will they keep possession here? It would be a real boost to their campaign to get a try before the half. As they recycle the ball, pick and go is the name of the game. And that getting very close to the line. They go back down the right side. One player. Referee gives the try. And Mustangs. Just like that, are back in it. And you see the emotion. They know what that means. Crucial score. We love the celebrations, the joy on these young players' face. And that is number one, Gabby Bryant with the try. They are cruising back to their half of the field, hopefully receiving an additional kickoff. But here's a second look. You mentioned it before, the pick and go. And what a great carry there to set it up. Bring the defense to the back foot. And number one, Bryant punishing the defense there. Low body position. And there we saw it. The flex putting her guns up. We love a try celebration. We do. Front row try. Nothing better. There we go. Kick is no good. So that will make it 10-5 to United. But momentum finally swinging to the Mustangs as they get over the line for their first try. And we are going to have a restart here as United will kick off to the Mustangs on the left-hand side of your screen. And that young lady in shot, we've mentioned her name time and time again. She is also the restart specialist for United, but it is Mustang ball. Can they build on this momentum? Getting down the pitch. Oh, huge counter coming in from number eight. Offsides deems the referee. So that's going to be United ball. Referee telling Mustangs to get back 10, and it's a quick tap. She is off. Oh, my goodness. Like you said, bulldozer that she is. United ball just over 10 meters out from the try line. This is massive. There's a big run coming in from number 18, and she is in the try zone. Alex, what do you make of that? End-to-end -end stuff here, and you've really got to credit the direct carries from United. They have some big ball carries in that team who have really turned up today. 8 and 18, taking turns, doing their best Miley Cyrus impressions as they are wrecking balls out there today. That was the trouble, dotting it down. You could see it there. Referee in a good position. And that's, from the Mustangs' point of view, exactly what you didn't want to see. You finally get some momentum, finally get on the scoreboard. Give away an easy penalty, and then they just pounce. And now you're looking deeper and deeper behind United on the scoreboard. And that was Millie Gibson. And it's a pro on each side getting the job done. 15-5 to 5 United leading. 